Well, Scott and Bernie, thanks very much. The uh, game-winning goal goes to David Prong. Congratulations, uh, John Kelly and I were talking. This was a real gritty performance, back-to-back -back nights, a bunch of injuries as the game went on. Did you guys feel the same way that you had to empty the yeah. empty the tank to, to get this two points? Yeah, we, we really did. They really stepped on us right away in the first. Uh, the energy wasn't so much there for us, and then we really bounced back yeah, when, once we got that, that goal there. And... Uh, I think for the most part, the rest of the game, we, we played pretty even with them. And uh, to come out of here with uh, two points is big for us. They score late in the second. And is that the goal you're talking about? For Patrick Berglund, you in front of the net, trying to avoid contact at all costs. Did you have uh, any thoughts that it might be called back? Yeah, I, th I thought it would actually, just because uh, I know I'm getting pushed in, but I, I kind of felt the, the glove and everything, and I'm glad that they saw it that way. And uh, again, like we we always talk about our road uh, record right now, but we we got to put, put some wins together if we want to be in the playoffs and make a deep run and uh, start in the, tonight, and uh, it's a big two points. In your first part with the St. Louis Blues before you were traded, you played a lot with Patrick Berglund. It must, must be nice seeing the big Swede just play a game in which he's used his instincts and that goal was probably a good indication of that yeah I think he's made a lot more plays recently and it's great I think it's great more offense for us and and we really need that I, th I think Brazzi's lines are a great job uh, providing offense but I think uh, third line needs to do that too and uh, I thought we uh, played an excellent game uh, even uh, last night with Steiner and um, I followed it up tonight give us an idea of what it's like when you know that goaltender is committed to you and you might have a chance on the wraparound for the game winner in overtime well First of all, to, to leave the short side uh, and, and go on the other side uh, was a little bit risky. I thought I, I might be able to bring it back on the short side and then to go around, I, I really need to, to make that quick. And uh, it's almost like when we scored, I wasn't sure. It was, there whistle, uh, the, the, was there a whistle or something? But I'm, I'm glad it, it went in. I think it was my first overtime goal, too, uh, in the NHL. So you have the puck? Yeah, I got it right here. And, uh, I'll show the puck. Yeah, I, I got there the puck. Go. I guess nice. uh, PR guy gave it to me. But uh, it's awesome. I, I mean, uh, glad we got two points. Good for you. Congratulations. Gritty effort by everybody. David, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you.